Hi there, I hope you enjoyed my last video on extensions in Visual Studio Code. In this video, I will be talking about Git extension, which I personally prefer when uh, making my React projects. So the first extension which I will be talking about is Git Lens. So this is the Git Lens, you can find it in Market Extensions Marketplace. So Git Lens, if you see the documentation, it says Git's, Git Lens simply helps you better understand the code, quickly gives you a glimpse into whom, why and when the line of the code block was changed. Jump back to the history to get further insight and as to how and why the code evolved. Now there are many features that have been offered by Git Lens and I will be showing a few of them. So you can also explore by reading the document over here. So the first feature which I will be talking about about Git Lens is the current line blame now this is the file and suppose i have to see who has changed this line so when i hold over here i mean i click on this line it does say you that means i have changed it three months back and the commit was git hooks and android components so this was the commit which i have made three months ago and when i changed this line so this is the first feature of git lens now the second feature is it I will show is status bar blame now this is the status bar of the git uh, and it has like same so whatever you see here is the same shown here now on the same if line when you hold it here it does show what were the changes made now this is the existing line and this was the new line which was changed in the previous comment so i had uh, done some indentation changes so it was changed you can see it does mention the name of the developer who has changed so there are maybe like multiple developers working so it will be easy for you to identify who did change this line and when it was been changed if you click over here it does show the differences between the two files this is the existing file which was there and this was the changes made in the previous commit so if you see the spacing was added in the previous file so <clears throat> Next is you can also open it uh, remotely means if you have to see the commit directly you can just open it the remote. So this will load the commit. You can see the commit over here itself. Now the second uh, also. so that was the differences you can see over here. Okay. Now there is a sidebar option for git lens over here. Now this gives you an option to see which branch you are and what are the commits being pushed on this branch. Now this was the initial commits and you can see the files were added the first on initial commits. Then the second commits, these were the files which were added and this was the file which been upload, updated. So this is updated or uh, changes file. In third commit you can see this were the file which were added, this file was changed. So when you click on this file you do see the differences between the two files what were changed so it does work like the source control file over here so whenever you change, make any change and then commit so it does show you here the similar way it shows in the git length the differences between the two files now this is really helpful to understand whenever the changes are made uh, to the commits and maybe that multiple changes were made you can see it based on the branches so currently i have only one branch that is the master so if you have multiple branches you can just check it which branch what commits were gone even the contributors is available over here now uh, this way for the repository the next thing is the file history now suppose i just wanted to see the file history changes so this is the app.js file and i want to see the changes so i will can get all the changes and commits over here similarly the line history will be also shown here so if i know a specific line it's going to show me the history of that line okay so this is the feature which git lens allow so you can see current line blame you can hover and see who has made changes and what was the change which a big change is going to show you both the changes so it will be uh, done multiple lines you can see in the status bar who changed it. if this is not available you will show like who made it change here and the sidebar option now most of the thing which you required to identify who made the changes and everything is here 
but there is one more extension means like you have to see the branches the way it is shown in the github if you know about github uh, if i show it here this is the network so it does show the commits A similar way if you have to see it in your uh, visual studio then there is another extension that is git history now git is once you install it there will be two ways to view it the first is the option is available here to see the history otherwise you can even see it here so when you click this git history you will see a nice presentation how how the branch was uh, the commits were pushed to the branch if there are multiple branches it will show multiple branches from which branch which other branch for forked or created or even you can filter based on the developers or here and branches so visually if you want to see this i will prefer git history uh, otherwise everything is available i will say in git lens git lens if you want to see it on the line so git history i do prefer for the view it gives it's really awesome and it looks very nice when you have multiple developers been pushing the code on the branches and to track who has done the change on which branch and where it was where it was been forked or from where the branch was created so that really helps uh, other than this if uh, features of kits are like git push and code so you can do it from git source control here which is directly available in your visual studio code so you don't require any other extension if you see there is no other extension available over here but in source control if you do any changes to the file suppose i make any changes in app.js so in your source control itself it does shows you the change in the file so it's going to show the changes in the file itself and you have option to commit refresh uh, and other options like pull pull rebase push check out a new branch you have to commit if you have to stash the changes then you have your option to see apply latest stash you have to drop a stash or pop up a stash so this is by default available source control but for the extensions the two extensions which i prefer is git lens and git history okay so this was on get extension so see you in the next video till then code whatever you want bye have a good day